and upbringing our children. I think it's a calamity when you are a guardian or you are a parent or uncle, you don't allow these children to associate with their peer group. Make mistake. Try one or two things within the house. Allow them to do house scores and things like that. What I realize is that uh, most times we say we love our children too much. As a result of that, we don't allow them to face reality in life. We say what we suffer, we don't want our children to suffer it. If the children don't make mistake, how are they going to get independent mind? How are they going to get critical reasoning faculty? It's not possible for a child to think straight if he hadn't made mistake before. If a child isn't hungry, will he not will he will he know that money is not easy to come by? And I think individually we should try to set vocation for all our kids. The earlier the better. Because I recall as from uh, age ten I had a vocation. But actually I started making money from the age of uh, sixteen, seventeen. Far back as 1983, the first income was like 1,500. And uh, as at that time, I think the exchange rate of Naira to Pound was almost a par because I recall return ticket to London then was uh, 500 Naira. That's it. You allow your children to do house costs. They need to clean the house, cook the food. It doesn't matter whether they're male or female because it helps them. They get independent. They have a critical reasoning faculty and in mind to be successful anywhere they be. So that way they will apply it in their business or apply it anywhere they are. They won't be looking for work because they already have something to do.